<laughs> Dr. Slivista Onziva was released this afternoon after a protracted war between police and members of parliament. Finally, finally, we are here. When I do my work, when I examine a woman who has been raped, a girl who has been defiled, I do it to seek justice. Earlier today, Seine Nabanda's family in Entebbe municipality revealed that the brother, Juan Robert Wandera, who had traveled with, U with Uganda police doctor as a witness to the examination of the deceased body tissue samples, was back home after being dropped off at Nairobi airport. I went to Nairobi. I was on personal engagements, but at the same time, trying to ascertain uh, the fact that uh, the, the, the police pathologist and uh, the government analytical uh, the chemist were flying the body parts of my sister out for 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 a toxicological analysis. As a family, I think there is worry that the police might doctor uh, uh, the, 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 the the toxicological analysis. So we, we, we want transparency. Serena Navanda's death has further undermined the shaky relationship between the legislature and the executive with some members of parliament failing threats to their lives for taking part in the post -metal. So they would want to deny parliament the sort of information they have and they could use this as a chance or an opportunity to hold them. Our sister may not establish the truth under this regime but one time another government will come and the body will be exhumed and shall establish what has got the death of our sister. Because we are being prevented from participating in tomorrow's debate, and yet that's where we are supposed to give a report to the Parliament of Uganda with respect to what has transpired since Parliament had adjourned and requested us to prepare a report for it. In his Christmas message, the leader of opposition, Nathan Nandara Mafabi, advised legislators to be cautious in whatever they eat. Please be cautious with what you eat and watch your movements. But above all, trust in God to protect us from the killers. Government later in the day addressed a press conference at the government media center where they allayed the population's fears regarding the MP's death. The manner in which these politicians behaved, preempting and even coming up with suggestions insinuating that government had a hand in this death. That is the character of the MPs, those involved. Those are the kind of character we cannot trust. Because why are they jumping quickly into that and yet we are trying to train and check what has happened. Now in our law, it is the police which is charged with the responsibility of <coughs> investigating crime. Dr. Njivua, could have gone to South Africa. But all he needed to do is to work together with the police. Police did not have to handle the exhibit, but he had to work together with the police to ensure that these exhibits are handled properly. The deputy chairperson of the NRM caucus and Indora West MP, David Bahati, whose name surfaced as having been a friend to Nevada's boyfriend, Adam Kalunji, who is wanted by police for his role in her death, denied any linkage to the man whose name is now on top of the police's wanted list. Serena Navanda's body was picked from Entebbe to unknown location for effective management. It is scheduled to be brought back to parliament tomorrow for viewing. Nakwango Inskasri, NBS Television.